we have our Earth Day extravaganza celebration. We're working on three projects in our community garden. The first project is an herb spiral, and you can hopefully see that in the background. Those are the rocks and the soil that's being put into that right now. It's a way to grow herbs using efficient use of space so that the herbs are planted in configurations where the herbs that like the sunlight are placed in the south. The herbs that like to get a little more shade are placed in the back of the spiral where they get a little more shade. So it's a way to make a small herb garden um, and it holds a lot of herbs. It's a great design. And then we also have some sheet mulch happening. So behind me you can see some piles of wood chips and that is a layering technique of gardening where you put down a layer of compost covered by a layer of cardboard and the layer of wood chips on top. And that allows you to plant into those layers and you don't need to weed your garden for the entire summer. You plant it that way. So it's really labor saving technique. I think it's really empowering people to be aware of the nutritional content of their food, the health value of their food. Um, we know that food that's shipped in to, from different areas in the country can lose nutritional content. So if people are out here and learning about how to grow food, then they'll have better access to nutrition for them. Um, we also are planning to have educational programs. So I'm going to be running workshops all summer where you have two interns who are going to be helping out here all summer. So we really want to bring people in and educate them about how to grow grow food for themselves and be healthy. Hi, I'm Melissa Van Horn. I'm the Director of Community Impact at United Way of Greater Attleboro Taunton. We are here um, doing a day of caring project with the Taunton Revitalization um, Agency, which is the Taunton Housing Authority. Um, for the Bristol Commons Community Garden. Uh, we were able to coordinate volunteers to come out and help um, complete this project today. Um, we're, there are actually three phases to this project, and this is phase number one, and it was great that we were able to align it with Earth Day. Um, so we're just really happy to be able to collaborate with the Taunton Housing Authority and uh, providing them with volunteers to help them with their community garden. I'm Hank Keating, I'm Vice President of Design and Construction for Trinity Financial, the company that redeveloped Fairfax Gardens. This is the first project where I've had the opportunity to integrate this type of agricultural activity into the community, and I'm very excited about that, so I thought it would come out for Earth Day when they're gonna do the kickoff on it, uh, because it's such an exciting opportunity to get residents involved in growing their own food and learning how to to cook, you know, fresh vegetables, and it's it's going to be a great opportunity for everybody. So that's why I'm here today to make sure we got this thing kicked off and going well. We've got the greenhouse, which will be ready for the next season. We're still working on the final pieces. We're putting in a well so that we don't use city water for watering. That'll be in the next month. We'll have the well in and we'll have the electricity into the greenhouse. So they'll have a season this year of, of growing, but next year they'll be able to do a full program of, of starts in the greenhouse and really be up and running. The, you know, we start with the, on the economic side because this is all affordable housing. And not only is it affordable, uh, this is also the most energy efficient housing I've ever constructed. I've got double stud walls with uh, uh, foamed in insulation, heat recovery ventilation in every unit. So these are probably the most energy efficient affordable housing or housing, multiple family housing anywhere in the state. Uh, and that's a, that's a terrific thing for low income residents because sometimes it's the energy bill that stands between them and being the ability to meet their monthly payments. That's been a you know big boon to this community. The other thing here is that I think people know that Fairfax Gardens before this rehab was had a pretty tough reputation. And Trinity, my company now, uh, we own the buildings and we manage it. We take residents from Taunton Housing Authority, but they are our residents, and we uh, make sure that we keep keep the resident life under control. Make sure that we've got good residents and 
and we don't see the same problems crop up, crop up that had in the past. We need, as a society, we need to really examine the way we grow food and the way and the food we consume. And Earth Day is a terrific day to start thinking about that. And this is a great event for people to start thinking about it and get kids out and you know, there's a lot of situations where, you know, kids don't even understand what a vegetable is. They've never seen it really as a real raw vegetable, and they've never seen it growing. Um, and, you know, it's really important to get people thinking about how we produce food and the kind of food we eat and, and the connection to our health. So this is a great opportunity to do that. Colleen Darty, the Executive Director of the Taunton Housing Authority. This is our Earth Day um, Community Garden Day and we're kicking off the Community Garden um, with some different projects and a lot of help from people from the outside. So it's an exciting day for us. It's been a long time coming when you see this design on paper and then you actually come and see people working it um, and things beginning to emerge from the ground. It's been exciting. Um, you have Columbia Gas here, EMC, United Way, um, Group of Caring is here today for their day of caring. So it's a great opportunity for people to come um, and come together to build something nice. I think this garden will be a very productive garden. I think it will be community owned and community generated and I think it will grow. I think it will grow as people have more knowledge and desires for what they want to see come to the garden. Um, fruit trees we envision, um, different types of plots um, will be coming soon for people in the community and I think for us it gives our residents a way um, other than the grocery store to think about healthy food and healthy living choices. We've built a lot around the Hope 6 grant, which built out Bristol Commons, um, about healthy living for the residents, even from the design of the buildings all the way to the education programs that we've done. Um, and this is a nice way to put it right hands on um, and allow residents an opportunity to grow things like herbs opposed to using salt. So it's, it's teaching all of the better ways for people to eat and then putting it right into practice right in their backyard. So it doesn't get any better than this. Sure, I think it's great. I mean, it was great to land it on Earth Day. It was a nice opportunity. We got a nice day out of Earth Day. Um, and I think for you know the people in the community, it just brings back what Earth Day means. Um, and that's to really, literally today, we're working the soil. So it's great.